Hey you guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Karina. And if you're not new, then welcome back. So today's video is going to be a full face, nothing over 10. That means drugstore, affordable, bomb makeup. Pretty much everything that I'm using on my face right now is products that I already have in my makeup collection that I just went through, brought them out, made sure they were under $10 in exception to one palette today. I will also be reviewing and giving you my honest opinion on the Profusion Harvest palette. They have another one. I found mine at Walmart. It was right under $10, $9.99. So today, this is what I have on my eyes today. And I'm going to show you guys how to recreate this super easy soft skim soft skim soft skin um soft glam eyes with like a pop of color super easy and i think this is such a beautiful like a summer look so if you guys enjoy this type of content make sure to subscribe to my channel help my channel out and um just share it with your friends and family that love makeup because that is what we do here if you are looking for affordable makeup that still performs amazing then you came to the right place so with that said you guys i hope you enjoyed today's video you already know Grab your cafecito and let's go ahead and get into today's full face, nothing over 10. So here's the palette that I want to play with today. Isn't it so gorgeous? So just looking at the Profusion website, these two are retailing for $10. I bought mine at Walmart. They have two new palettes and these are the Harvest so Super Bloom, either Ethereal or Harvest Palette. Both of these come with 20 shades. The shade Secret Garden literally sold me in seconds. It has beautiful mattes and um these are more like a glitter shadow which i am really excited for so for the look today i'm gonna start off with the shade nurture which is a really pretty peach color i'm gonna take my aoa studio e130 brush this brush right here is from shop miss a which is an online 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 um website where you can buy everything for a dollar i ended up changing my mind and i actually use the profusion neutral shade base still under ten dollars so don't worry now i am really going to take the shade nurture and it's because it wasn't showing up on my natural skin it's a little too light so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take that color oh this is pretty and I am going to apply it into the crease as a transitional shade. I'm going to switch brushes to the Morphe M453. And I'm just going to use that to blend out the edges. Unfortunately, this color is really, really light. I've had to like go back and build it. So I don't know, or I don't see this really working for like deeper skin tones, but if you can get a pretty light lay or a pretty light base onto your eyelids, then that might work, but just a little FYI. I want to use a brown shade, so I am going to take the color Crop, which is a little more like caramel-ish. <laughs> and I'm going to use my Profusion brush. This one is one of my absolute favorites because it's small. And if it's perfectly into the crease, this one is from their Desert collection. I did do a review on that. If you guys are interested, I will have a card where you can just kind of like click on that and either watch that later or watch it now. But that review, you guys, it's been one of my favorites because of the collection itself. I just, I love that collection. It's probably one of my favorites, honestly, from Profusion. Since this palette doesn't have like a deep brown, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Autumn, which is a nice burnt orange. And I'm gonna use this one to kind of like just deepen up the crease a little bit, even though it's like not dark at all. But I just wanted to throw in a little orange in here. So I'm gonna keep that crease or that color right behind, just right here, almost like a little peekaboo color. So I'm just tapping it in here. And I'm going to just keep this color all the way to the back, 
blending it down and then in. I'm gonna switch back into my AOA brush and then I'm just going to lightly buff out that edge. Since I don't have any additional products, it'll blend it out for me. This is the Desert Sage palette that I was talking about from Perfusion. So I'm actually going to take a little bit of this color right here. It's a brown because I really do want a little more depth. I thought that orange would do it, but it's just not doing it for me. You can leave it as is and it would look so pretty. But I'm just going to add a little bit of... Oh yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. And this palette as well, you guys, is so beautiful and it's... Definitely under 10, I am 99% sure. So I'm just going to keep that color right here. Again, I don't wanna to go too crazy with like making this so like dark, but I do want a little bit of depth. So I'm just stacking it on top of that orange and then just blending it. Highly recommend these brushes. They're so good. The quality is amazing, you guys. Like literally Morphe brushes for like half the price. Well, not even. Morphe brushes are pretty affordable as well, but you know, it's perfusion. You can't go wrong with them. I pretty much have the look down. Now what I'm going to do is go in and cut the crease for that. What brush do I want to use? I wanted to show you guys. Look at my little brush holders. I depotted my candle, took off the wrapper, and cleaned them. And now I have a free super thick glass jar where I can hold my brushes or my lip liners. I love TikTok because it literally teaches me so many things. I'm gonna cut the crease. I'm going to use my Refer 21 brush and I'm just going to use the Profusion base that I have here since it's a really nice light color. It will adhere to the lid really nice. So let's go ahead and cut the crease. I'm gonna go into the shade Marigold. This one is like a dual chrome. It has a really nice ship to it. Hopefully my camera can pick it up. But I am going to take that color and I am going to tap it in. Of course, we need to make sure we don't have any creasing first. And I'm going to tap that in. Oh, that is so pretty. This is what I mean. Oof where they outdo themselves. And I feel like you'll get the most color payoff using your fingers or applying a little bit of glitter glue. But if you guys remember, in one of my videos, I dumped the entire glitter glue, the only one I had, onto my hand and I have not been able to buy one. I've been forgetting actually, so yeah, there goes that. I'm gonna leave the eyes alone for just one minute because I do wanna add some color to the inner corner and then down here, but since I don't have concealer or foundation, I don't like to apply those colors because I feel like they're just going to wash away when I do apply my concealer. So we're gonna go in with the NYX Plump It right back with Electrolyte Primer. So this is supposed to be like a gripping, a gripping primer um and it really does actually grip oh, this pimple hurts so bad you guys i have no idea um this really does actually grip the foundation and it does get a little bit tacky the only thing is that it doesn't minimize the pores which i know it's not meant to do that it's supposed to just really hold on to makeup longer but it does a great job at also hydrating at the same time because it does contain the electrolytes within the primer. So perfect for those that need a long wearing primer. Why did I throw that so aggressive? <laughs> oh man, I forgot. I wanted to use, okay, we're gonna use this. So this is the new Hard Candy Shirley Me Tinted Moisturizer. Um, this contains hyaluronic acid and niacinamide, which perfects the skin. And then it's vegan and cruelty-free obvious. It says it right here. This is the color. It's in the shade 310. 310 yeah but it's absolutely sheer and i know it says that sheer so obviously i don't expect any coverage but i was hoping it had a little bit of something because it is a tinted moisturizer but then it says sheer so i'm like mm, okay i didn't expect for it to be like this sheer i was kind of hoping that this would be like a dupe for the rare beauty 
uh, tinted moisturizer unfortunately it is not so i would just use it to kind of like even out the skin tone and then go in with a foundation or with an actual tinted moisturizer that will give you some coverage this was only like seven or eight dollars or cheaper than that um but it does feel really nice on the skin so talking about hard candy i'm going to use their glamouflage full coverage foundation this is in the shade uh 150 no, 1511. Honey, 1511. This foundation is really nice. The only thing is that the smell, like a lot of people don't like the smell because they think it smells like paint. I don't know that it smells like paint, but it's definitely like a strange smell. So this one is full coverage. It is a little thick, but for me, it doesn't feel heavy and I think it works really nicely on the skin. So we're going to apply a generous amount on the skin. And I actually really like the wand on this. It's really nice. I'm just going to blend that into the skin. I'm going to use this sponge. This has been my favorite from AOA Studios as well. This one is from Amazon though. Also, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would be interested in me creating a storefront from Amazon and I can link like home decor and just little items that I have because I shop at Amazon 24-7 all the time. That's where I have a lot of like my outfits from, uh, jewelry. I get a lot of jewelry from there. Like I said, home decor, pets, baby stuff. So if I should share my Amazon storefront, let me know and I will create one and then link it for you guys. As you can see, the foundation does give um, a nice coverage without being too heavy. For my eyes, I'm going to go in with this Morphe Filter Effect Soft Radiance Concealer. And this is in the shade Medium 12 Neutral. I really like this concealer because it really is full coverage. Um, but it's just a little too dark. I should have gone with a different undertone. I'm going to apply a little to this pimple. It hurts. It hurts so much. I just want to leave it alone. But I'll probably take off my makeup after this and just kind of let my skin breathe. But yeah, this concealer, you guys, bomb diggity. Let me know what concealer you're digging right now because I'm always on the hunt for new products, um, whether they're drugstore or high-end. I just love testing out new products for you guys and letting you know what's good, what's bad, what to purchase, and what to pass on because I'd rather me spend the money and you guys save your coins on products that are either worth, worth it or not worth it. So, <clears throat> yeah, let me know what concealer you guys have been loving lately. I am going to set underneath the eyes using this Brighten Up Essence Powder. This is their new banana powder. Actually, I don't know if it's new, but I love this so much. And I'm going to use this Morphe and Ariel brush. It is perfect because it goes right underneath the eyes and it sets everything so nicely. And it just gives you the nicest brightening effect I've ever used. Like this is such an affordable product. So I'm going to let that be for a second. Now to set the entire skin, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder in the shade Medium. This one is so nice and beautiful. It sets the skin and it doesn't leave like a cakey residue, which is what I love. So I'm going to take a little bit of that powder and I'm going to take it on a brush like this. And I'm just literally stamping that. And then I'm going to go over a little bit of that powder that I just laid down. And on the nose to mattify it. Okay, we're going to move on to bronzer. So for that, I decided to go with the Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade 300. Such a good underrated bronzer, seriously. It's so creamy and silky and the color is beautiful. So I'm going to take that and contour the face a little bit. I mean, it's a bronzer, so it's not technically supposed to be contour, but whatever just packing it on and then i'm going to take a little bit onto the forehead do you guys see like the warmth that it gives the skin it is so pretty around here the temple and then i'm going to connect it to the cheek just right here 
For my blush, I'm going to use something that I've been loving for the past few months. These are from Koki. They're the Gradient Blushes, and this one is in the shade Bellissima. It is so pretty, and I feel like that would just really match this whole look. It's like perfect. So what I like to do is I like to take this brush. It's one of my favorites as well. It's the tapered cheek brush from Real Techniques. And I literally just go around the entire pan, tap off the excess, and then I tap it right here. I love this because it is like slanted. So it just hugs the cheek so nicely. Look at that perfect color i love it so again just tapping it in i'm gonna go in with a highlight this one has been my go-to the color pop super shock cheek and flip flop it is so pretty and i'm gonna take a little bit and just press it on here Ooh. isn't that stunning I'm going to go back into my palette and I'm going to take the shade Secret Garden. I've already applied a little bit of primer just so it has enough, so it has something to adhere. Oh, that is so pretty. And I am going to pop that into the inner corner. Oh my goodness. This is such a unique color. I literally don't own anything like this in my collection. I I am speechless. <laughs> It is so pretty. Look at that. Oh, I love that. It's like a green, but it's not like your typical green that you get in your eyeshadow palettes. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you love this color? I love it. It looks a little more like <clears throat> aqua in person or in camera, but it's definitely more like leaning green. It is just so pretty. To the waterline, I am going to add a white eyeliner. This one is from LA Girl in the shade Marshmallow. For my mascara, I am going to use the Double Trouble by Essence. This has also become one of my favorite mascaras because of the bristle. It's like a little bit curved and it's like so big. It's um, perfect for getting every little pestañita, especially if you have tiny little lashes like me. This is perfect. And then for my lashes, I'm going to use the lashes in the style Stars by the brand Barbie Lee. You can find these on Amazon. The entire pack comes with three for like $16. But if you divide that individually, they come out to be like five something a piece if my math is correct so they're still under ten dollars okay let's finish off the lips these lashes are super pretty by the way i'm going to use the la girl coquette lip liner and i'm just going to line the lips mm, i think this one might be a little A little too light. It's a little too close to my skin color. You guys already know. Let's go in with BFF3 from ColourPop. This is a little more brown. I'm going to sharpen it because it's cutting my lip. And for my lipstick, I'm going to use the L'Oreal 984 Ultra Nude. And then I am going to add lip gloss. This is Peach Bellini by e.l.f. This is such a beautiful color. Mm. I love this gloss and it's a little plumping, but it doesn't really like actually plump the lips. I need to get over this like nude combo because I literally wear the same one all the time, different colors, but I swear they're different. Según yo. We're gonna set this skin, and for that, I'm going to use the She Glam Sunday Picnic Little Setting Spray. This is such a trip, I still can't get over it. It has like a jelly consistency, but then you spray it and it has the best mist. So we're gonna set the skin. And there you have it, you guys. Here is a full face, nothing over $10. What do you guys think? I love the way this look turned out. I think it's like such a soft glam moment, but with a pop-up color, the lips are bomb. 
as always uh, the skin is looking nice and mattified but with a beautiful glow these lashes though i am living for them i will link them in the description box where you can buy them so that is it for me you guys if you go to walmart check out the new perfusion harvest palettes the other one is really pretty as well it has a little bit more of like purples but this one this green oh i'm living for it thank you guys so much for being here i really appreciate you if you enjoy this type of content if you enjoy this type of content don't forget to subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and also let me know in the comment section and down below what videos you want to see next really helps my channel just you know reach engagement and youtube tell everybody hello this girl does some bomb makeup <laughs> all right you guys i am gonna go eat because i am starving i love you all and until next time i will see you in my next video bye